Hey everybody, Fran Cassidy with Cassidy Online LLC. Say a couple of things that every webmaster should know. Um, number one is if your uh, if you shoot yourself in the foot and accidentally knock your site down uh, with a plugin um, that is um, uh, harmful to your site that actually takes it down uh, you'll have to go into cPanel and um, delete that plugin uh, so want to take you through that and the other important thing for uh, our webmasters is that you want to make sure that your site is being backed up and so uh, with that um, Let's take a look at both of those functions uh, in uh, cPanel. Hi everybody, uh, Fran Cassidy. Say, let's uh, take a look at uh, my cPanel and uh, check out um, the uh, issues that were presented in the introduction. Um, number one is a um, incompatible uh, plugin that will knock your site down then you have to get into your cPanel um, let's go into uh, this may take a while for GoDaddy because it's very slow here this morning so I can show you uh, the way in to the cPanel via GoDaddy here's uh, login um, And uh, you uh, click your name as you get in, and then you click My Products, and it will take you into your products. You got to uh, scroll down a ways to get there. And uh, under Web Hosting, if you hit the caret, it will come up with your site name or names and if you click manage um, like I say this is very slow this morning but it came up pretty good frasadies.com that's my blog and um, I'm not sure what this is doing here we're waiting on something but uh, you click cpal And that took an awful long time this morning, so I went ahead and got into there ahead of time. And here it is here, cPanel came up. And um, first of all, uh, you want to go into File Manager. So if you click that, I hope it works here. Um, the site, like I said, has been slow this morning. And uh, let me just refresh that. Okay, I think I'm almost put this on pause here because it's taken a while. In fact, let me go ahead and put this on pause. I'll be This uh, took a while to get in, but um, so in your file manager, um, this will come up and it's got a um, 
kind of a long alpha numeric number uh, as your home directory. But you uh, click uh, public HTML. Um, you open that uh, plus up um, and that opens up um, uh, public HTML. And under that, uh, you click um, you click WordPress contents. And then under WordPress, this is quite slow this morning, so having a problem with, um, I'm going to put this on hold again here. So you press uh, WordPress content, and then um, you go down to plugins. Uh, you click plugins. This will bring up all your plugins. And um, if you go over on the right hand side, uh, you have to click plugins again, and this will bring all your plugins uh, on the right hand side um, where you can um, uh, manage the plugin. So, for example, I've got a plugin, uh, a print friendly plugin. If I click that, it will turn light blue. Uh, then if I um, say the print friendly, I had just added that and my site went down. If you click it and right click, you can click a delete and that will take it out. And that will bring your site back up. So fairly simple. Um, I'd re well, let's repeat that. So we go into uh, File Manager and it comes up with this home um, alpha numeric number with all your stuff in there. And you scroll down to Public HTML and open that up. Then you go down to WordPress Content and uh, click that, open that up. Then you go down to Plugins, open that up, and it will bring um, on the right hand side where you can manage your plugins, it will bring them all into view there. And there you find the latest plugin that you had installed and delete it. Um, and that will bring your site back up. Um, yeah, so that uh, covers that. Now I'm going to take you back into the file manager and I just want to cover this backup of the site um, in the GoDaddy CPAL. Um, it's interesting and it is um, efficient as well as a necessary function uh, for webmasters. So um, let's get back into that uh, file. Okay, we're back in File Manager and your files are here. And um, you scroll down, you see databases uh, that are used on your website, uh, domains, uh, metrics. Um, we had covered uh, the significance of RW stats uh, before and how important that is for a webmaster. Um, software, security, email. And web applications is what we want. So um, if I click web applications, installation applications installer, we'll see if that can take us over there. 
there we are there. We're an install installatron um, in the C panel. And um, so basically you want to click my backups. And there you can see that uh, on 116 at 245 AM, that's 116 2020 at 245 AM, um, I have backup of my entire site. Um, and you can see if you go down, uh, you can see that at 115 at 248, approximately the same time, 24 hours earlier, uh, they did a backup. And if you work back, you'll see that every 24 hours, the, um, uh, uh, the CPAL, the software uh, in the CPAL will back up your site. So those two important uh, things for uh, important functions for webmasters are uh, very important to know and to be able to get into your cPanel and go into your uh, plugins and um, uh, basically manage the plugins from there if you can't get to your site. It's a uh, um, where you would need to go without calling uh, some um, uh, tech support in. Um, and then the uh, check your backups uh, because that's very important as well. Uh, if you uh, upgrade to a newer version of WordPress, for example, you want to make sure that uh, you have the latest um, backup of your site in place. Um, so with that, it's about all I've got. I appreciate you listening. Um, have a great day. Take good care.